Hi, this is Anjali Baradwa with DMC, and today I'm going to show you how to make a color-coded list in SharePoint 2013. Uh, today we're actually going to be working on Office 365 as well, and we are using Acme Corporation, the do-it-yourself tornado kit, as our example. So if our requirement is to go ahead and take this quote list and make a color-coded field to determine the status of the list, um, or, or of each item in the list, um, this is how we're going to do it. So first we're going to go ahead and make the status indicator field. Um, we're going to create a very basic requirement here of just making it a drop down option. So in the quote list, I'm going to go into the list, list settings, and I'm going to start by adding a new column. <coughs> we'll call it status indicator. This is going to be a choice field. And like I said, we're going to keep it really basic for now, and we're going to have green, yellow, and red. So somebody can set what the status indicator is of each of their items in the list, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now we need to create another field that's actually going to display that color-coded dot. So this one, we'll go ahead and just call this status, and this is going to be a calculated field. So I'm going to go ahead and put the um, exact formula into the blog, but for right now I'm just going to copy it and paste it right in here. And hit OK. Okay, so now we have our two um, new columns added into the quote list. So I'm going to go to the place where I have that uh, quote list on my home page and I want to add that item to this or add the color indicator to the screen. So first I'm going to edit my page and in my quote list I'm going to edit the web part. We'll edit the current view. Okay here. Now I'm going to add the status field to my web part view here. So one of the big differences between SharePoint 2013 and 2010, this is going to be the difference between whether it works and it doesn't work, is going into the style option and selecting basic table instead of default. SharePoint 2013 you need to switch it to basic table, SharePoint 2010 you do not. I'm go ahead and hit OK. And now you can see that we've added this status field to the uh, landing page. Our next step is that we need to change the view for the status to actually be that color indicator. And to do this, we need to add a content editor to the bottom of the quote list. And, uh, and it does need to be exactly under the um, quote list web part. So I do have the text. Again, I'm going to have that in the blog avail available for you. And it's easiest to just go ahead and add it to a notepad. So I'm going to go ahead and open up notepad on my computer here. And I'm going to copy <coughs> the script right here and I'm going to save it uh, right to my desktop. So we'll call it color coding text and it looks like I already have one there and I'll replace it. Okay, So now I have that text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add that to a place uh, within SharePoint 2013. So I'm going to go into site contents and I will just add it to the site assets here. So we're going to upload. I'm going to browse for it. And we're doing the color coding text. Hit OK. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get grab the shortcut for this. So now I'm going to copy the shortcut by right clicking and selecting copy shortcut. So now we need to add that content editor under the quote list web part. So if I click on page, click on edit, I'm going to add my content editor. So we're going to do insert web part and then under media and content we are going to select the content editor. So go ahead and click on add. Now it's added the content editor uh, to the page. So um, let's go ahead and edit that content editor web part. So click on edit web part. Now we're going to link the content editor to that file we just created called the color coding.txt. So we'll go ahead and open this button over here. 
so we can paste in the shortcut for the, I'm sorry, the URL for the color coding text. Go ahead and hit OK. We can test the link just to make sure it's bringing it to the right place, and that does look correct there. And we'll hit OK. So now the content editor has been added to the page. Now don't forget that the content editor does need to be directly beneath the web part that you are trying to display. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now you can see I have the status indicator added to my screen. You might want to go ahead and hide the content editor. I can show you how to do that as well. So if you click on Then you're going to go into your web part and click on Edit Web Part. Um, because we have Publishing turned on, we're going to hide it uh, by just removing the title and making it a space, and then taking the Chrome type and changing it to None. And hit OK. And finally, we're going to save the page. And now you can see we have a color coded. So if you want to change the color of the status for an item, you would go in and edit that item and then change the status here to green, for example, and you would instantly see that reflected on your screen. So um, I do have another blog, a video blog, on how to make this a conditional color-coded list, so you can check that out for SharePoint uh, 2010, and be sure to check out my other blogs as well on dmcinfo.com.